Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. Welcome back. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel. And today we got an extra special mail call, guys, all the way from across the pond, across the pond, all the way from Scotland. Gary Tasker. Gary Tasker has been a loyal supporter of my channel since the beginning. <clears throat> he messaged me uh, on an email and he said, hey man, um, I don't know how I didn't see the, uh, the announcement for the Free the Ferraris build off. My notifications somehow weren't on. Now, I know that YouTube is a bit finicky and not only do they you know sometimes your notifications get cut off um but they they also unsubscribe people sometimes man like you know hewitts was saying he was he was subscribed to diecast chasers which is a absolute i know that he's not lying about that because they're really cool they're cool homies right um and he went to her channel and he wasn't subscribed so like how you know how does that work right Anyway, um, Gary reached out and he said, hey, man, I want to send Amanda uh, a Ferrari for her birthday. If I'm going to send a package all the way across there, I got something coming to you too, right? Thank you so much, Gary, for, for sending this package all the way from Scotland, which is crazy, man. Crazy. Um, we did talk a little bit on email, and he told me something that's in here that he wants me to build. Um, so we'll, we'll get into this. I got a note here. It said open on this side, which is at the bottom of the box. It also said fragile and they definitely bang this thing up. So it says, hi, Jay and Amanda. Hope you are both well and coping with COVID, etc." cetera. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. uh, he, he left a little message for Amanda there. And then he left a message for me. So I'll read my part. Um, Put a few main lines, etc. in just as a thank you for the pleasure your channel gives. Scotland still having some COVID lockdown issues and diecast videos are keeping me sane-ish in parentheses. Thanks, Gary Tasker. Well, Gary, I'm sorry to hear about that, man. Um, I know COVID is a big deal in the world and uh, it shouldn't be taken lightly. Um... I'm not going to get into my personal opinions on, uh, you know, everything, right? But hopefully all this uh, passes here and everybody can uh, go on about their lives, you know? Get a grab of coffee or something and uh, let's get into this box, huh? So I don't know if he marked Amanda's... Holy smokes, man. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so Amanda's got a package here. I'm going to put this to the side, guys. That's that. I'm assuming the rest is for me. Okay. Um, Gary, I hope I hope most of this box is packaging, man, because you didn't have to send a whole bunch of stuff. Um, there's no numbers as far as, like, what order or anything to open this stuff in. So I'm just going to pull it all out, I guess, right? And, uh, and we'll go from there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that, I think I know what that is. And we got a couple other packages here. Gary, man, <clears throat> I can't, I, like I said, man, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing here, man. This came all the way, all the way from Scotland, guys. Like, holy smokes, man. All the way from Scotland. Now, there's two things in here. I know that are in here, right? Um, one, of them, one of them is a project that he wants me to work on. The other is, uh, is very special. Something that he made for me. Um, that he wanted me to let him know what I thought, right? Anything that you take the time 
to build and send to me, I'm going to love it no matter what. It could be like, it could look like a seven-year-old did it. I'm still going to love it because I know that the effort went into it, right? <coughs> um, first thing I see is short cards, which I don't really get short cards over here, so that's cool. Um, and I'm, I, I think the international thing is like, there's a lot of short cards internationally. A Lev C Tax TX Taxi, a Lev C TX Taxi. I'm not sure what a Lev C is, but it looks like it's a European style, um, like a Mini Cooper ish taxi. So that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. So we'll put that there. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. 1975 Chevrolet Caprice 75 Caprice two door um, very nice car very nice car I have one in red but I haven't done anything with these cars yet and I do plan on it so uh, that's cool because even though this is a green the red one is open already so that means that I can do what I want with it and not feel bad right <coughs> excuse me guys um, let's go in this one. Now, like I said, there's nothing written on anything, so I don't know which one's which. So if I pop the custom before the end of the video, um, sorry, I always try to save the customs for the end because they're the most special, right? Um, you know, I don't want to cut any cards or anything, so we'll go in with the scissors. We'll go in with the skizzers. Skizzer it up. Gizzery Skizzers. I always wondered why this scissors has a C in it and it's not pronounced Skizzers. <laughs> yeah, I'm special, guys. Oh, there's some tape on the card here. Let's carefully peel that. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm not a collector, guys, but I do I do uh, respect the... Um, the cards right boom short cards 06 Pontiac GTO which I probably have like five or six of these cars um but none in a short card I don't get short cards here like I said and then the bone shaker the bone shaker in that funky blue green yellow um <clears throat> deal that they got going on but short cards man short cards are very very rare over here so sweet thank you Gary Thank you, man. I would say that I'm going to do a bunch of stuff with these, but I probably won't because of the short card deal. Now, you know, because I was called out that I, even though I say I'm not a collector, um, I, I, I'm a collector. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if, if I ever do get a space to, 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 um, display all my stuff that I have collected, quote unquote, um, these are definitely going to go on there because they're short cards, right? Like, we don't have those here. I mean, you do, but it's like one in every ten boxes, I think. Um, just for the... Just for the collector. I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why they do what they do with half of the stuff that they do, but, you know. Um, more than anything, though, man, thank you for building a car for Amanda. You know, whether it's late or not. Whether there's a video or not, you know. The thought, man, it's her birthday. Like, you know, you guys knocked it out of the park this year. Like, I could have got her absolutely nothing, and she would have been totally happy with with what I did, what, what everybody did, you know, like the, 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 the event in itself, you know. You guys, you guys, this is the best community in the world. Uh, I'll say that, you know. I used to think it was the racing community, but there's a lot of arguing and fighting that goes on in there, and then not so much in this in this community. So, I can't thank you guys enough, and I'll keep saying that until uh, until my uh, until my lips turn blue. <laughs> what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, hello. Okay, so I already know that this is a car that I sent out. The only one I had, I sent to Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop because. He wanted to recreate his own car, and he put a post out on Facebook, and it went like a week, and nobody responded to it. He needed an SRT 
Challenger Demon, and he also needed an SRT, I believe, uh, the one with the, the different hood on it. So I had a Demon, and I had two of the other cars, and I sent all three of them out to him just in case he messed up his cuts, you know? Um, that's, you know, that's it's just a, a token of my appreciation for what he's done for the community and got me into this whole deal, you know? So, you know, it all comes back around because Gary, Gary Tasker just sent me a 18 SRT Demon to replace the one I had. Now, the one I had was red with white tampos on it, but that's okay. That's totally okay because if I do decide to, uh, to do a custom with this, you know, the paint doesn't matter. But for now, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to sit as my lone demon, right? That's awesome, Gary. Thank you so much for doing that, man. I hope that these cars aren't rare to come by over there, man, because I there's so many stores I can go to and grab cars. And if they are, let me know because, you know, I'm sure that shipping isn't cheap to go international, but, like, I will return the favor in due time. You know, let me know if there's anything that you need, and uh, and we'll go from there. Look at this thing, man. 52 Chevy on a short card, but it's got that matte black paint job with the rusty rusty look on it and the uh, pinstriping. That's a sweet looking truck. I don't have this one. I have the truck, but not in this Tampo deal. Um, and definitely not on a short card, you know. That is super, super sweet, Gary. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to stack that baby right there. And then we got an 11 Dodge Charger RT with the black, with the blue tampos on it, Mopar. It's got the RT badges. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to stack that one on that one. Boom. Okay. This, this is something that I don't have. Gary basically sent me an email and said, I want to see what you can do for the gas lands with this, with this thing. I've seen people do them. It's a, it's a K7. It's made by Matchbox, super fast, super Kings, RT, KT race, racing car transporter, a K7. I'm sorry. K7 made in England, 1972. Um, this thing is awesome, man. It is so heavy. And, like, there's just so much to it. There's so much to it. It's got that tailgate on there. I'm pretty sure flips down. There we go. Boom. Tailgate flips down. It's got lift-up doors, kind of like a DeLorean would. And everything is here on this thing, man. It's kind of a shame to gas land it but <clears throat> Gary sent this to me for that reason and that reason alone so nobody can get upset when I do my thing on this you know and not for nothing it's going to be for the channel and uh, for the cause you know this was a gift sent across the ocean and um I got to do what I need to do on this. You know, he wants me to gas land it up. That baby's going to get it. That baby is getting it. <laughs> Matter of fact, this might end up as the cab for a war rig, which I haven't attempted a war rig yet. So, um, <clears throat> Steve over at SRS Diecast sent me this thing. He said war rig, right? I'll have to implement that into a war rig somehow. Maybe this will be like a... I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out. And then uh, Stupid Cool Diecast sent me a red line that um, I sent out to Don, the Diecast Pirate. I'm sure he's going to get that back to me eventually. And uh, that red line's supposed to get implemented into a Gasland build as well. So maybe I'll just take all those platforms and put it together into one big monstrous creation, right? I'm kind of excited about that. This thing is awesome, man. It's got suspension on it. Well, maybe not, but yeah, I think it does. Yeah. 
That's cool, man. Thank you so much, Gary. I've never even seen one of these in real life. Ever. So that's cool. Um, and then I'm assuming this is the custom. <clears throat> and he said, let me know what you think about it. So I'm going to do that, Gary. Um, first, first of all, he told me not. I didn't even have to make a video. But then I reached out and said, hey, man, do you mind if I do? Because for you to send something this far, like, the world needs to see it, right? Like, I don't know. That's just the way I am. I, I want to... He said, I, you know, I didn't send it to be popular. I sent it because I like what you do on your channel. And um, and I wanted to support you, which is totally cool, man. Totally cool. But that doesn't mean that, uh, that, that you know, I can't give you a shout out and, you know, share your gift with the community, right? Wow. Dude. The 70 Dodge Charger RT in a ratty muscle, a ratty muscle build style. Dude, 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 dude. Can I take this off of here? Gary, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to free this, baby. I know you glued it back on. You know, he glued it back on. I don't know if I'm... You know what? I'm taking it out. I'm sorry, Gary. If you did the... If if you took your time to do this and I'm... And I'm destroying that, I'm sorry, but... It doesn't do it justice sitting in a package, brother. And this, this baby's gonna go up on a shelf and, uh... Sit in a protector case. Come on with it. Come on with it. Come on with it. I'm taking it out, Gary. I'm freeing her forever. Forever. Yeah, because you can't see the other side when it's in here either. No. Screw it. Screw it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look at this thing, guys. It's a ratty muscle Dodge Charger. He's got the mismatched fender. He's got the mismatched door on this side. Gary, this is awesome, man. This is awesome. He told me he's not the best. Um, he, you know, he's 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 not the best uh, customizer. But that's okay, man. Like, you know, for where you're at, everybody. And Don told me this. Don the Diecast Pirate told me this. Like, wherever you're at in the process of learning and growing in, in, in Diecast Customs, it's perfect for where you're at, you know? Like, how far along you are. And everything that you make is kind of like a milestone, you know, in itself. So I appreciate you making this car, man, and sending it so far across the world to me. You know, he had to make room for the wheels. He cut out the base. Man, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work to make this thing sit right. You know, and whether it rolls or not, it doesn't matter to me. It's going to sit in a display case so that I can look up at all the all the cars that people sent me, man, and just appreciate the amount of work that went into these things. <sighs> That's awesome, Gary. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. And for now, will it fit? Nope. Come on, baby. Don't 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 make a fool out of me. Don't make a fool out of me. I don't know how this works, guys. I don't know how it works. Thank you, Gary Tasker. Thank you so much, man, for sending this package across the world. And even more importantly, sending a custom Ferrari for my girlfriend, Amanda. That is going to be incorporated into the belated birthday um, unboxing that will come up within the next week or so, guys. I'm still waiting on a couple packages to come in. So, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, everybody's included in that, uh, in that unboxing. Um, for now, that's going to be it for today's mail call all the way from Scotland. From Gary Tasker. 
And uh, I said it already, but I can't thank you enough, man. This thing is awesome, brother. Awesome, awesome, awesome work. You're the man. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.